to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose. Yes in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I'm heading on over to the Dollar Tree to see what new items Dollar Tree is stocking their shelves with and what new items are gonna bring me some inspiration for some upcoming DIYs. I'm excited because I like to go on to dollartree.com I like to look around on there to see what new items they have online because nine times out of 10, if you see them online, you can expect to be seeing them in your store. I found some new items online that I am most definitely keeping my eyes open for at my local Dollar Tree and fingers crossed, I'm hoping that they get them soon. But for now, I'm gonna head on over there. Let's see what's new and what you too should be keeping your eyes open for at your local Dollar Trees. Let's get to it. We're gonna start off with my favorite new find. It's been a while since I've had a favorite find that I like as much as I like this one. I'm all about planners. Now Dollar Tree's got a customizable planner. How cool is that? Seriously? Opening it up, it does say that it's got 20 sheets to fill in. We've got the personal information. We've got a smaller month calendar. We've got several of those here. And moving on to the back, we've got the weeks. And I'm not gonna say that there's 52 weeks in here, but it's enough to get you started. I prefer these over the smaller calendars, but these are good just to put down an appointment or something, I would guess. But if this cover isn't for you, Yes, Dollar Tree's got that covered because they've got a mix and match set. This set comes with two sets of covers. Oh, fun. Oh, I love it. Future is bright. And if you want to have the ombre as the back, you can, or you can do the blue in the back. How fun is that? In state of kind. I love that. These are adorable. But with these, you need the disc so you can customize your planner, right? Well, guess what? They've got to pack a disc as well. That is awesome. There's 10 discs in here, which is perfect for, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you've got extras. I love it. We've got 40 sheets of a notepad. 40 sheets for a weekly calendar. Oh, and here is another cover set. Oh, how cute. I didn't realize I got two of these. Oh, I think this was the one Kayla liked. Oh, so cute. Yes, you can. And hello, lovely. Oh my goodness, I love these. I want to make Dollar Tree planners now. I think I will. They also had a few sticker sets that coordinate with the covers. Fun, fun, fun. You're getting... 240 stickers in this pack. And they've also got these stencils, a few different styles of stencils. There are three stencils in each pack. So that is fun. If you don't wanna use stickers, you can use stencils. So hands down, this is my absolute new favorite find at Dollar Tree. And another one of my finds is this 18 piece sewing kit. We've got some thicker embroidery needles. We've got some sewing needles. I am loving that. $1.25, you can't beat it. And then you've even got this round one, which I'm not super sure what it's for, but you've got a, two of them actually. Very cool. And Crafter Square even has some adorable needle pillows. I think that Crafter Square is doing a really great job catering to DIYers and crafters. 
they've caught on that we really like these longer plaques and so now we've got some raw wood plaques what do these measure out at it doesn't say but this is a decent size so I picked up four just to keep in my stash and would you look at these adorable wood embellishments? Loving these, perfect for tiered trays. I'm seeing more and more every time I go. You're getting four or five of each and you're getting nine different embellishments in each pack. And how about some wood block houses? Fourth of July is right around the corner, and so I picked up three of these, what are these called? It's called a three, oh, 3D galvanized plaque. And so I thought this would be fun for porch decor or some kind of a DIY that I will be bringing to you with that Fourth of July Americana theme. I've never been one that's been much into the mesh that Dollar Tree carries. It's kind of a thicker, coarser mesh. And so I've never really utilized it in a DIY, but now I'm seeing that they are carrying this decorative mesh that I used at Christmas time for a snowy background on one of my garden banners. And it's a softer, thinner, mesh that I am loving and you can see that I found it in the red, white, and blue. And so I think I will be doing a 4th of July wreath with this. And so I picked up two of each color. And if you see the red, white, and blue berry picks, you might want to pick up a pack of those too. Tissue paper is one of those items that is really great for doing decoupage with Mod Podge. I saw that Dollar Tree's got a really pretty new tissue paper out. And so I picked up a couple of these because I like to keep them in my stash. And this one here is the one that really caught my eye. And so is this one. Not sure if these are only new to my Dollar Tree. This the first time I'm seeing them is this chalkboard crop it stickers it's a full sheet of the chalkboard stickers that you can customize in size and shape and so you're getting a full 5.1 inches across by almost 12 and a half long these fairy garden homes this looks like a honeycomb beehive and so i picked up two of these because these are easy to repaint and customize to say a tear tray. I've decided this summer that I will be doing a bee and sunflower tear tray kind of combined. And if you see these, you might want to pick these up too because these also might be on a specific summer tear tray. I could not pass up these gnomes, so I picked one of each color up, the pink and the blue, and these are going to be in an upcoming DIY. This is such a fun, great new find. This is a paint shield. So you can put it along, say, the crease in a wall and you can paint and not have to worry so much about taping off. I'm not somebody who tapes off. I never really have been. And so this is perfect for that. I'm excited to use this. I've been doing a lot of DIYing and home improvements around the house. And so this is definitely gonna come in handy and something that I am putting in my paint drawer stash. Yes, a car eraser sponge. Kind of like a magic eraser, but it's a car eraser. It's safe for your car. It's not gonna take that clear coat off love 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 this it is double sided this car eraser is recommended for removing small scratches paint transfer or watermarks using only water i love that i am so glad i picked these up i wish i would have picked up a couple more totally random i know but I go through the tool section quite often at Dollar Tree because I am replenishing a tool selection that I never had because the tools went with the ex-husband. So now I am collecting and accumulating my own set 
Dollar Tree has nails now and they come in a variety of sizes. This is a pretty cool new find. These shower caddies, these are a larger caddy. I found them in two different colors, this smoked gray and a clear. So I picked up both to put in our bathroom showers. How cute are these new storage containers? I found these in, I wanna say three different colors, the peach, no, four different colors, peach, white, gray, and aqua. I picked up three, one for each of us, Kayla, Allie, and I, but I am loving that this one has the separate side compartment for dressing or dips. If you wanna put your vegetables in there, Kayla packs her lunch to go to work at In-N-Out all the time. And so this is definitely gonna come in handy for her. I love this. And you can remove it to wash it. It just slides right in and out. So, so fun. And I love that they were different colors too. And then we've got a sandwich one as well. Has anybody seen these? How cool is this? It's a garlic chopper. I don't have any garlic, otherwise I'd chop the garlic for you in this and tell you how it works, but it kind of looks like a food processor, a mini food processor inside because it's got the blades, the sharp blades that looks like, oh, I see. Oh, look it. Okay, so this is how it works. You just roll it and it only goes in one direction. It doesn't go in two directions. So you do this and it's gonna chop your garlic clove. And you can easily, oh, okay, you just put it in the top there, close it up and just roll away and it is gonna chop your garlic. Oh, I'm so glad I picked up two of these. I think I need to go pick up another one and give it to Ray. Ray will love this. Oh, this is an awesome new find. So keep your eye open for this handy kitchen tool. This might be a favorite find too. Oh, and then it opens this way too. Oh, so you can pick your way. Okay, I see. That's really cool. Oh, so you can wash your blade. Okay. Oh, how handy is that? Not gonna lie, I whiten my teeth all the time because I am a huge coffee drinker and now Dollar Tree has this ultimate white charcoal powder. I use charcoal toothpaste, I use a charcoal toothbrush, and I have charcoal whitening. And so I love that they now have this charcoal and powder form. This is made with coconut and charcoal, which is amazing. And you just kind of dip your toothbrush in this when you're brushing your teeth or sprinkle some on your toothbrush. Brush away for about two minutes and it doesn't look sweet. It's not a cute look at all when you're brushing your teeth with charcoal. So do it by yourself with the door closed and the bathroom door locked and uh, just brush away. And charcoal really does a good job of taking any of those coffee stains off of your teeth. I love lipstick and look at these fun new lipsticks that I found. These are by, I don't know who, who are these by? Oh, it says, um, Taste the Tropics is the name. Taste the Tropics is the name of this lipstick. This is a long wearing lipstick. Well, this one isn't. This one is a high pigment metallic lip gloss, but these are the long lasting kind of wear all day lipsticks with a matte finish. I found them in four colors that I really like. And so I picked up all four. Oh, it's kind of reflective, isn't it? So we've got a pink here, kind of with that coral in it. And then some of those softer mobs. And then I did pick this metallic one up because it is a gloss to put over it. You all have heard me say over the last few months that I have been doing a ton of work around the house, home improvements, yard work, cleaning things out and purging. And with that has come some aches and pains. I'm not the spring chicken I used to be. I'm feeling it now. Dollar Tree has these lidocaine patches with 4% lidocaine. Let me just tell you, they work. 
I've had a pinched nerve in my neck and so I use this up there and it works amazing. They stick well and they are long lasting and it is well worth the $1.25 that you're gonna spend for one patch versus the $10 you're gonna spend for two or three when you even buy them at Walmart or Walgreens. I hope you all enjoyed all of the new finds that I found at my Dollar Tree. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, and I know I sound like a broken record, but each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, well, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Happy everything on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, and bye for now, everybody.